what's up my dudes welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here if you're new here my name is ellie and this is a quick little easy summer makeup routine thing if this background looks a bit different it's because i'm actually in a room transformation at the moment so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss that when it comes out so my upload schedule has been kind of dodgy i really don't know how to youtube yet so sorry in advance because i just have no creativity left in my whole body and i don't know what i'm doing anymore so let's just get right into it the first thing that i'm gonna do is actually put some fake tan on my face um it's kind of a different color to the rest of my body and it just makes me look a bit more tanned generally overall if you have a pale face and the rest of you is tanned you just don't look tanned this chair is so annoying i'm so sorry um i use the saint tropez natural healthy glow everyday face cream in light or medium i kind of use about that much and then i just sort of on my face i guess <laughs> i don't know if it does actually smell bad or if i'm just used to it and now i don't think it smells bad it kind of is odd though so then once this is touch dry you can apply other stuff you need to always protect your skin from the sun even in winter so i use this soul tan protect and moisturize spf 30 and five star uva i don't really burn so i don't need a high spf but the the star rating on the uva is what is really important Oh, also, this, uh, I had a spot here, and that's a place, you know, you itch a lot. Um, so, it's a scab now, it's great. Step number one is primer. I use the Professional Pearl Primer. I can't give you prices for most of this stuff. I just don't remember, so I'll try and link everything below, I guess. Yeah, also, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is kind of crazy for me. So, let's see if we can get to 2,000 before I upload next week's video. You really don't need very much of this in my experience. And it just glides on and makes everything feel super smooth and lovely. So I do put quite a lot in my under eye area. Once that is done, the next thing I do will be concealer. I have two that I use the most. Um, this is Tarte Shape Tape obviously like you know and love it it's actually kind of overhyped so um i have the shade like neutral in this and i use this when i'm more tan so like now this probably works okay-ish um and then when i'm paler i use revolution revolution conceal and define in c6 which is it looks right on camera but it isn't in real life it's quite pale here is the bb cream i like to use it's a bit light for me at the moment so I need to go get the darker shade, but it's the BB Say Magique. Why did I do that in the French accent? And it was bad as well. This is actually really good. It's like kind of glowy, so I quite like it. I'm just too dark for it at the moment. So I just go under my eyes, really. Um, I kind of need to colour correct, but I have pulled my makeup and checked out anything that was out of date, because that is going on your face. Um, so I guess we're just going to have to try and conceal it. I like to put a little bit on my chin just because it's quite red. I do like blending with my fingers, but I'm going to use a brush because sometimes I just, I don't know, I just like a brush more. It gives you a bit better coverage. To make this as high coverage as I can here because it's like a scab is covering up, I am patting it. Take a little bit of excess around my nose. I don't really like a super full coverage look. I like a full coverage concealer to go over like spots and stuff but just super full coverage foundation isn't really my thing and then i pat under my eyes as well because i just have really bad dark circles i think it's genetic <laughs> okay i'm gonna take a little bit of this lighter concealer and put a little bit on my nose like really tiny i mean there's like barely anything left in this bottle anyway just to highlight a bit. I'm also gonna put a bit on this spot because it's quite dark. Nose highlight is what I absolutely love for. If this concealer looks really dry, um, it's because I have like nothing left. What you think I would probably do next would be powder, but I don't because I use a cream blush. If I could find it, that would be helpful. I use the very iconic Glossier blush. I have it in the shade Beam. It is really tiny, but you really need very little. I literally, I don't even squeeze it out of the bottle. I squeeze the bottle a little tiny bit, and then I 
screw it open and just whatever is left I can sort of dab on <laughs> like this and I'm sort of trying to move away from using blush like on my cheeks to sort of like you know like right here on my cheeks to sort of using it to shape my face a bit more almost so like on your cheekbone here so not highlight or contour like sort of in between I do also like doing this with this foundation brush but then you just have to remember that it has it on I do still like have that blush effect it's just sort of more sculpting next is powder I use this fit me powder um, it's in the shade 110. Then I use this brush with it. It's a BH Cosmetics one. I could not tell you what brush it is because it doesn't have a number or anything. I do use quite a bit of powder because I get a lot of creasing in my under eye area otherwise. But I don't like absolutely cake it on. And it is pigmented but like not really. So I can like get away with it all year round really. And I'm like 90% sure this doesn't have flashback. I'm gonna test it with my back camera now just to try and prove to you. There's like no flashback, so that's good. Obviously I look a bit paler in the one with the flash, but like the whole, my whole body does, so we're good. Next, we're gonna add some color back into our face. Okay, I've been using this bronzer for God knows how long. It's the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. It's apparently waterproof. Um, and I've hit pan on this, so you know I really use it because I rarely ever hit pan on stuff because I just don't wear makeup enough to get through it before it's out of date. SPF 15. So I just take this brush. It's Real Techniques. It came in a set with this one and then a few others. Um, and I sort of swirl it around like that. Tap it off. Pull this sucky in face. And go from this point where it dints in up to here in my ear. And then I blend that down past my ear and a little bit on my jawline. I'm kind of bad at doing my jawline though. And it is a bronzer rather than a contour. So I don't think it'll do that much. And I sort of soften it when it's all done onto my blush a little bit. Yeah, the key thing with bronzer is you don't want to go down and up. You want to go up and back like this. And I've blended that onto my temple there. And then I do the same on the other side. And then what I do is I scoop my hair back like this. Really attractive. Um, get quite a bit of bronzer. And do my hairline. Because I have a rather large forehead. Nothing wrong with that. I just would rather not. And I do use... I do use a lot of bronzer for this step. And I do try and really work it into my hairline. Because... As you can tell, my hairline is very white and I sort of bring it down and join it and I bring it really quite far down and round so it's almost with the arch of my eyebrow just to make my forehead look a lot smaller. I don't know if you can tell if I do this. This side looks a lot smaller, at least in person. And I take a little, little bit, tap quite a lot of it off and I sort of squish my brush like this and do... Like the world's tiniest and worst bit of nose contouring you'll probably ever see. And then you really can't do it on the other side easily. Just sort of down from my eyebrow. This is Ted Baker Eyeshadow Trio Palette. Pink Shimmer, Bronze Shimmer and Peach Shimmer. We clearly have a peachy vibe. I'm just going to use the bronze. Get a decent amount. And sort of go just all over really with it. I'm gonna go in with a bit under my eyes but I am gonna sort of pinch the brush a little bit to start off with to get the colour right in there and then sort of go back in like this. I think the more you work with this eyeshadow and like really blend it the better it gets because it is sort of oh hi you know it's like quite Intense, you could say. I'm gonna take this clean blending brush. Here it is clean. Um, this is a NYX professional makeup brush. Number 17, I think, unless that is a batch code. I don't know. Um, and sort of blend this outside in sort of circular motions the whole way around. 
what I do, especially when I'm doing my lower lash line, is I'll dip the brush like this, so it's sort of sideways. Um, and then use the side, so I dipped it like this and flip it over, so that the side with the pigment is on is in the top, so I'm not going to get loads and loads of fallout. I am going to take a smaller brush. Um, this also came with those orange real technique brushes. And I'm going to take a little bit of this light pink shimmeriness and put a little bit in my inner corner i do go over my tear duct a little bit like this just to sort of bring it all together a bit and then i like to build that up quite a bit because it is the palest color and then when you go back in and blend it together with the cleanish blending brush then the copper is obviously going to overpower it. I then do highlight. I feel like that's normal. This is the Glossier one. It's Dew Effect Highlighter in Quartz. Oh my god, I love this so much. So it's got like a shimmery ring on the outside and the inside is like the dewiness. I do a little bit on the end of my nose like that and then I sort of dab it like this rather than drawing with it solid on my cheekbone and drag a tiny tiny bit on the bridge of my nose you have to be really gentle with that because otherwise it'll smush on the sides and then to blend that i sort of pinch it in and then blend it i do use my fingers for this and honestly i've not had a problem with blending this out with my fingers basically i sort of take three th three fingers and pat out the highlight and then once it's patted out quite a lot i rub it because otherwise you get quite a harsh line I've found and then the excess I just put in my inner corners again just to give them a really highlight highlight okay next thing I do is I take the elf ultra precise brow pencil I'm not sure what shade this is but it's like the medium brown shade oh no I've squished the end what the heck I'm really disappointed in myself there fill in any sparse areas and I outline the top from about here and the bottom from the whole way but like not super heavy <laughs> Okay, it looks kind of blocky at the front right now, if you can tell, um, but I then go in with my spoolie and I sort of blend it out almost. Weirdly, I do eyebrow gel last, so I'm not doing that yet. Okay, next thing I do is mascara rather than eyebrow gel because, I don't know, I can't pull the mascara face properly if my eyebrows are done. I use the Glossier Mascara, it's it, it's the only one I do, so you can't get it confused. And these are Ted Baker eyelash curls, I got like a, I got like a Ted Baker set for Christmas, super cute. Um, and these eyelash curlers don't have a spring, and honestly, revolutionary. I don't know what it is about them, but they're just so much better for some reason. And I do that thing of curling my lashes in threes, so I go from the bottom, do a few pumps, go to the middle and then the top sort of going round i really like the glossier mascara it's like sort of natural but like lengthening and it doesn't make go super spidery or anything and then i sort of do a little bit on my bottom lashes second to last thing i do is my brow gel i used to use clear brow gel god where is it here it is Okay, I used to use this NYX Control Freak eyebrow gel. It's like clear. It's a really big tube actually. Um, it's good. It's just super, super crispy. So like it holds them in, but if you get it wrong and it dries, um, you have to take a full face of makeup off really. Boy Brow is really good on the other hand. It doesn't like make them crispy. It just sort of holds them in place. This is in brown. The only thing I would say though, is it really does bring out a lot of product, so. I scrape quite a bit of it off first and then I never start at the start because it always leaves a big clump so I start in the middle and sort of go up and out kind of and then work my way back towards the front and then back down towards the middle and there's a little bit there that's gone over and it's just come off yeah I do think it makes my eyebrows a little bit lighter this has got it on this one doesn't but I don't need to dip in again there's just so much product on this tiny wand it's like really odd final thing if you don't have this in your life oh my gosh get it in your life right now please kiko lipsticks and lip glosses let me get the other ones out as well i have two glosses and then two 
I think these are matte lipsticks. Yeah, these two are matte lipsticks on this end. There's like this sort of pinky neutral, which actually is almost the exact color of my lips when they're not super dehydrated. And then this pink, the other end is like gloss. I wouldn't say it's the best gloss to wear on its own. It's kind of sticky, this one. The 3D Hydra lip glosses. Oh my god. This one is like a shimmery pink and this one is like a nude but it's like got a little bit of shimmer in. They're not really sticky, they're so hydrating. They are like a lip balm but they're so much better because they're gloss really. <laughs> I've got shades 6 and 19. I do need to look out for a good setting spray because I've never owned a good setting spray so if you have one leave it in the comments below. This probably takes me about 10 or 15 minutes in the morning not while I'm talking to a camera. This is quite a quick makeup routine. It's super natural, glowy. Yeah, honestly, this is my go-to now. So that's all for today, guys. Make sure you've liked it if you like it and subscribe, hit the bell so you don't miss any of my uploads because honestly, it's meant to be every week, but my mental health is not doing super great right now. So please don't attack me if I don't upload, okay? All my social medias are either linked or just tag down below. I upload every Sunday at 4 p.m. UK time. So I will see you next week, guys. I love you. Bye. Ooh, there's a fuzzy in my hair. So gross, get out of here. Ooh. Very ladylike, excuse me. Wow, I literally sound like I'm a pirate girl.